Hello everyone and welcome to your timeless channel love letter from the Divine Masculine. And it's really interesting the way that Spirit had this come through for us, for me to, to channel, is to do two cards at a time. And I prayed and shuffled the cards and I am posting this in the 12th month of 2021 getting ready to move into 2022 and to the six energy, the peace, the balance, the reciprocity. So it just so happens first I was guided to pick 12 cards. Then they kept saying two, two, two cards at a time for the message. I said, okay, two cards at a time for the message. What happens to be 12 cards, two cards at a time is six times 2022. So there's a message here with all those numbers and that. So I like to explain a little bit of how the process goes for me. First, it's the intuitive picking of the Malefic deck for this and then where spirit guides me. And I encourage you to listen to your own intuition, right? And let your intuition guide you on your journey. Okay, this is your channel love letter from the Divine Masculine. We have the Ten of Cups. And the seven of pentacles to start i've been thinking a lot contemplating what love actually means to me what is a healthy family life do i feel at peace am i content with the way things are I want something different, I realized. <laughs> and I also realized that it's time for me to reevaluate where I'm at because I don't feel at peace. I haven't felt at peace. I don't have the most high vibrational family. Some of them are good and beautiful and loving and generous and kind and others are not and some are open and receptive some are not but with each of them there's their beauty but also struggle some are very needy some are bullies some are angry, so, so angry. Some are sweet, but live in this blissful ignorance and they don't realize what's really going on. And as I grow and evolve, I'm taking another look at who is a good example for me in my life. Who has been the example of love that I wish to follow? And it's you. And there's also been some other people in my life that have been a good influence. Stability when I needed it. Gave me opportunity. And I'm thankful for that. But I want the higher level of love the peaceful content, having it all love. And that's how I feel when I think of you, when I'm pausing, when I'm reflecting, taking a time out. I can feel something shifting. I know it's like almost that harvest time, that time to pick the fruit. Um, I'm refocusing in the material world, looking for other opportunities ready to learn something new. And I've been working hard at finding peace in my heart space. And I do feel ready for something different and to let go of the past. I feel ready for that. I've, I've been thinking really hard about that. I wanna get it right this time because I don't wanna repeat the things that I've had to repeat I feel 
that it's time for us to enjoy everything that life has to offer. And that's where I want to put my focus. I feel that where I've been in this physical world, where I've spent my time, work, play, otherwise. I feel like that part is dead, it's done. I don't feel like I'm being recognized like I know I deserve to be. I've really noticed that in my working environment that most people are just really just out for themselves and only putting in willing to put in minimal effort and honestly my world has become a little dull and bleak same old same old I'm breaking free from collaborations that are not healthy anymore. Like I said, I'm refocusing in the physical world and what I'm looking for are like-minded people. What I'm looking for is to be recognized for the work because I put in the work. I'm willing to work. I'm willing to put some effort in on our connection. I really want this to work because I view the collaboration with you, my Divine Feminine, as the ultimate collaboration. But where I've been stuck in, is in the past. Obligations, codependencies, addictions and all of those things have created this toxic lifeless world that I notice now around me and I want something different and more an environment where I can expand and grow And be successful. I'm ready to leave my world behind for something new. I'm not telling anybody exactly what my plan is. Another thing I've learned <laughs> Is that you can't trust everybody and like I said everybody's out for themselves people like to gossip make up stories try to hold me back from living my dreams by feeding me illusions of fear and worry and concern because they didn't live their life a particular kind of way that what I'm not allowed to do something different and new that I know is better because the old ways are not the ways anymore. I'm getting it now. I've learned to be discerning of who I open up to and speak my truth to because I'll be honest with you, most people don't get it anyways. So it's a waste of my breath. I've wasted a lot of breath in this life trying to explain myself, defend myself, defend my beliefs allowing other people's energies to get in the way of what I actually want to do. I'm paying attention to the details now, where before I just kind of let things go and I didn't really look, but now I am. I'm putting in the work. I've put a lot of work into myself to get here. I feel very strong. I feel powerful. But I'm keeping things to myself. You're the only person that I trust enough to tell my secrets to. Because I know you feel the same way. I know you get it. I know that you would never expose my truth without my permission. I'm 
I'm standing a lot stronger now than I ever have been before. I know that I can do this and I want you to know I'm willing to put in the effort. I'm taking my power back here. I know I'm meant for more. I got my eye on the prize. And I've made my decision. And like I said, you're the only one that knows the truth and knows everything, you know. This is my opportunity. I want a new start. I'm curious about life. I want to learn new things, new skills. I'm following your lead. You always give me that feeling of newness. I'm always wondering what you're gonna do next. What do you see? How do you feel? I fantasize about you. You're in my dreams. How beautiful you are. And not just your physical body, but the beauty of your heart and your soul is so pure and innocent yet wise. I love everything about you. I dream of you all the time. And I want to offer my love to you. You stand out above all the rest. <sighs> when I think about my new life, my new direction, the way that I view my physical body health, the way that I view money, and the way that I view love. When I envision that life, I see you. I see victory here. I want to celebrate. I held myself back before, and I'm ready to be recognized. But I promise to always remain humble because that's very important to me. But I know that I'm meant for greatness, that we are meant for greatness. And we're meant to stand out and to do something here. I feel that in my heart. I feel that I'm meant to do something bigger here. And I'm really looking up now. I'm looking to God, to the universe for guidance. My guardian angel. I know I'm protected. I know that this is protected. And I'm ready to charge forward into victory here. A new start, a new path, a new way. I've taken a lot of time to really ground myself and to get clear and to grow. I'm dreaming up this plan. It's looking really good. And I'm, I'm feeling very hopeful here. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. I trust that the divine has its hand in this. That you, my queen, my compassionate, gorgeous, abundant, 
prosperous, creative. Truly divine queen. You are my prize. You are my everything. When you close your eyes and you feel into your heart space, you will feel me. We are never separated. We are always united. It's our time. Trust yourself. You are so worthy of everything that you desire and so much more. I don't know what I would do without knowing you. You inspire me. You heal me. You take me to places that I never knew existed. And I promise you, that in that perfect time, it's all gonna come together and I'm gonna give you the world. I love you, my queen. Rest well and dream of me.